to give a shout out to all my subscribers. Thank you so much. Uh, I appreciate you all um, because the message I'm trying to put out needs to be here, you know, heard by all. So those of you who have subscribed to my channel, I greatly appreciate it because that means you're awake and you're paying attention to uh, what is going on around you. Uh, let's talk about when the shit hits the fan type scenario for a minute. What kind of bug out plan do you have? Do you even have one? Okay, these are some of the things I recommend doing. Okay, today I just got done um, taking a bunch of dirt roads and finding some two tracks. Um, looking for places that I possibly could hide if I needed to. Um, I think that's something some of you should do, especially if you live in the city. You need to travel outside of there and find some country where if you have to bug out or hide, you can. Now see, I'm fortunate enough, I have, I live in the middle of the woods, so, but there might come a time when I have to bug out of here, and I need to know a location to where I can go to be safe. Now, we all know that what happened in Afghanistan is a complete and utter disgrace. There's a bigger picture there, and it will be revealed sooner or later, the true cause of that. But these are some of the things I recommend you doing. Um, I'm sure a lot of you are preppers and have been prepping. But don't keep all your preps in one spot. Okay, see I'm lucky. Like I said, I have my own property, my own woods. Um, I have things buried um, on my property. Just in case I ever have to leave my, my house and bug out, I can come back at a later time and retrieve what I have buried. So that way I'm never without... I recommend some of you guys doing that. Um, if you don't have that option, maybe you have some friends you can trust where you can uh, hide some stuff there. I don't really want to say hide, just stash. Because you don't want to put all your chickens in one basket. You don't want to store all your ammo, all your guns, all your supplies in one spot. Because what happens if you have to leave or bug out fast? Um, I believe in uh, also preparing your vehicle. Your vehicle... You know, have different options. You know, always have a truck gun. I always keep my AR pistol in my truck. Camouflage netting, shovel, you know, stuff like that. In case I have to uh, bug out, I can hide. Now, people, I'm not trying to fear monger you. I'm not trying to any, any of that. What I'm trying to do is wake you up to the possibility of what happens. Just what ifs, okay? Now... This video is basically for all you preppers and um, people like myself who think outside the box. Um, we have to be prepared on multiple levels. We can't just say, yeah, I got everything stashed here. I'm ready to go. Uh, I'm going to make my last stand at my home. You know, that's all good and dandy. You know, but what if you can't? So basically, don't keep all your supplies in one spot hide them and you know that way you always have them you don't have to worry about carrying everything or trying to pack everything in your vehicle if you have to now you should have other options as well other than bugging out in a vehicle you should be able to walk on foot to get to where you need to be you need to find a location close to home uh if you can um there's so much things that you need to do to prepare for when the shit hits the fan which i believe is coming sooner than later because all the signs are pointing uh to an uh, economy of collapse because no one wants to work all this mandatory talk of vaccines and travel passports and what's going on in sydney australia with the lockdowns that's all coming here to america not to mention all the afghan refugees who are being placed here um right here in my home state of michigan i hear there's talks of putting them here in grand rapids now, I'm not saying these people are bad, but some of them could be. And there's no way to really vet these people. But why we still have people over there in Afghanistan, American citizens, we're bringing Afghan people here, doesn't quite add up to me. So people, my message today is um, if you never thought about some of the things I talked about or you have ideals, please share them with me. Because I want to survive. I'm a survivor. I'm a country boy, and a country boy will withstand this shit, because there's one thing I have that a lot of you don't have, and that is the ability to uh, disappear if I have to. 
that's a key thing in the shit hits the fan scenario. You got to be able to disappear, regroup, you know. So get with like-minded people and uh, prepare for the worst and hope for the best people.